Welcome back to the Summer Rain channel. Today we're gonna make a do-it-yourself body wash. If you haven't done so already, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I post a new video every week. I also post a link to my blog where I'm gonna give you the full recipe, I give you all of the ingredients, why we use them, and all of that. Let's go ahead and make our body wash. Let's go ahead and take a look at our phase A ingredients. We have vegetable glycerin and we have xanthan gum. And this is gonna be what goes ahead and thickens our body wash. What we wanna do for phase A is go ahead and take your vegetable glycerin and you're gonna go ahead and add your xanthan gum. And then we're gonna mix this together very well. So you have to mix it this way to make sure the xanthan gum gets wet before you put it into water. In our phase B ingredients, we have three surfactants, which are basically what gives a body wash the bubbling ability and the cleansing power. So we have SLSA, we have coca mitopropyl betaine, and we have diesel glucoside. Go ahead and grab a heat safe container. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you get one with a pouring spout, like a measuring cup or something like that. Um, just using one of the bowls is gonna make it kind of difficult to get it into the final bottle. So we'll start by mixing together our surfactants. The first one that we're gonna put in here is we're gonna put our SLSA. Next, we'll add the Coco Mita Propyl Betaine. And lastly, we'll add our diesel glucoside. What we wanna do is go ahead and mix all of our surfactants into a, it's gonna be a very thick like surfactant paste. See how thick that is with surfactants? Now that our surfactants are all mixed up, we're gonna go ahead, take our phase A ingredients and put them in with the surfactants. And then we'll go ahead and give this another mix. When we mixed together our phase B ingredients, we did leave out one ingredient. We left out our distilled water. So you're gonna go ahead and add it now. Now I just give this a quick mix. I'm not actually trying to mix everything together. I'm just gonna loosen a little bit of what's on the bottom and then I'm gonna pop it on a double boiler. So just pulled this off the double boiler. You're gonna notice that it is very viscous now. When we put it on, there was like a clump of surfactants on the bottom and some water on the top. Now everything is mixed together properly. We can go ahead and add our phase C or cool down ingredients. So let's go ahead and take a look at our phase C ingredients, also known as our cool down ingredients. We have our fragrance oil. I went with a berry fragrance that for whatever reason smelled purple, so I grabbed my purple mica. And then we have our preservative. Anytime you're using water in a formula, you have to, have to, have to have a preservative. Otherwise, you're gonna grow some pretty nasty stuff in there and it's probably not gonna be very safe to put on your skin. So don't leave out the preservative for sure. And I have mica powder. This is completely optional. I'm a little bit extra, um, so I like to match my smell to my color. And like I said, this berry was smelling purple to me, so I went ahead and grabbed some purple mica. Um, don't have to have it, I just like to include it. We'll start by adding our fragrance oil. And at the same time, go ahead and add your preservative. And then give it a good mix. You're gonna notice that it's quite a bit less viscous than what it was once you add your fragrance oil and your preservative. And you're gonna be like, oh no, I broke it. It's not the right consistency anymore. It will thicken back up. It's just gonna be like this for a few minutes. And it actually kind of works out because it gives us time to get our body wash into the container before it thickens back up to be too thick to pour. The mica powder is completely optional. If you're fine with it being the white color, go ahead and leave it as is. Otherwise, now is the time to add your mica powder. And then go ahead and mix it very well. And you'll notice that it's already starting to thicken back up for you, so it's not nearly as watery as it was just a minute ago. 
So this is the container that I like to use for body wash. Um, it's really great in the shower because all the body wash is gonna go down here. You don't have to worry about shaking it all down um, when you get towards the end. But when you're pouring it, it's a little bit difficult because the top is rounded. Go ahead and grab a mason jar and just put your bottle in there. And then you can go ahead and take a small funnel and use that. It makes the pouring of the body wash a lot easier than if you were to just try to hold it in one hand and pour it with the other. Not that you can't do that, this just makes it a little bit easier and less messy. Now we'll just go ahead and pour in our body wash. And then now that we have our body wash in there, we're just gonna go ahead pop on our lid, and that is how you make homemade body wash. And then just to kind of show you how the body wash is gonna work, I went ahead and grabbed a loofah. And as you can see, you're gonna get quite a lot of bubble with your body wash that you just made. I hope you enjoy making and using this homemade body wash.